video for you here today. Today's deck guys is a Nilfgaard deck. Um, the strategy that we're going to be running here is Assimilate. Now, I'm going to let you guys know this is my first time running a predominantly Assimilate um, style of deck. Never really done it before. I never used this leader before. But um, I can guarantee you this deck will win you matches. But it's going to require a fair bit of thinking. So you're going to have to have a fair bit of insight into your opponent's deck. Thinking ahead what cards they're going to play. And then kind of how you're going to strategize according to that um, as you go on during the match. I found this deck to be quite challenging to play, um, to be honest. I'd consider it more of an advanced player's deck. But um, don't let that stop you from giving it a try. Um, it's always good to test yourself at least and build your skill level up, which is what I've been doing here. So, um, yeah, as you can see, it's a double cross deck. The stratagem that we have is collar. We can lock a unit of our opponents. Make sure it's a good one, guys. Take good advantage of that. Um, but all in all, the theme of the deck is assimilate, meaning that we have a number of units which will be boosting themselves when we're playing cards which are outside of our starting deck. But now I'm going to go on into it. I'm just going to take you guys through it a bit more in depth. So I've got a Neuromancy, guys. This allows us to draw a card from our deck. Um, any card on two separate occasions because it's got the Echo Tag. We have this unit here. Plays the top non disloyal unit from our deck and boosts it by 8. Obviously this is good to use in combination with the Coop card. I mean, I'd, I'd prefer to use this uh, later in the match, not in the first round, but according to your hand, play as you go. So keep in mind, you, you want to be playing this with Coop, right? Coop being this card here. This will damage it um, and play it down. Conspiracy always triggers the death blow ability. Um, when we play that card onto our opponent's side, it's, it's going to have spying status, so it's going to activate it in that sense. Okay, a nice card that we have here, guys, is Brethens. So this is going to create and play Bronze Disloyal Unit from our starting deck. Now, what Disloyal Units do we have? Let me go over that for you. We have two Emissaries and two Duchess Informants. Now, we want to save these and kind of spread them out across the match, obviously, because they're activators for our Simulate Units. So the assimilate units we have will be boosting themselves when we're playing um, well, the, the, the Duchess Informant for any matter because that's going to be spawning and playing a base copy of our, our opponent's unit which is obviously not in our starting deck and will be triggering, triggering the assimilate card. Um, in addition to that, Braithens is a card that we'd like to play in the first. Um, so yeah, take Braithens into the first. Take, take either one of the spying cards into the first. And we're just going to kind of play on from there. It's going to give us a lot of good points, get far ahead. Um, also, we have Leo, guys. Destroy an enemy unit with 9 or more power. If we play it on the melee row, in ranged row, it destroys an enemy Witcher. Um, we are seeing some Witcher plays at the moment. Um, so this could come in handy, in handy, the ranged row ability. Obviously, when you're versing Skellige, you know, the bear witches that they play, um, so uh, that damage themselves on deploy, you know, and damage you, that kind of stuff. Junod, those kinds of witches. Um, you know, just uh, know your opponent's deck, as I said, once more, and play along, and play the cards as you see best. But yeah, just a bit of tool removal in our deck. We could have gone for Heat Wave, it's also a 10 provision cost card, but this gives us 3 points on the field, helps us get a bit further ahead while taking something out of our opponents. So obviously you want to, well, you want to use these tool removals sparingly. Um, Leo is a card you, that's a bit more flexible in the first or last round, but we do have uh, Yennefer Invocation as well uh, in this deck. This is probably quite nice to use um, with us, with Joachim, because we can pull something with Yen, that's good, then play Joachim, it's going to draw it from our deck right away. That's another good combo that you can use, keeping that in mind. Um, so some good pulls with Yenna would be cards such as like an Egan. Um, you know, if you're versing monsters, that's pretty nice to pull. Um, so we have the location card. This card is nice to use um, with Warrit, right? Because we have Warrit in this deck. So 
you can play Warrant. It's going to draw the highest cost card from our opponent's deck, um, putting it on top of their deck. And then we can play Location. Um, you can play the Viper Witcher Alchemist to take that card from them, give it to us. You can also use Cantarella that we have in this deck just to play it immediately. Obviously, you know, playing that card of our opponents is going to trigger our assimilate units as well. So there's a bit of a synchronization there that works pretty good. Um, so yeah, Warrant's a card in the first round, right? You play Warrant in the first round, play Cantarella, Location. Don't be scared to play those cards in the first round together. Um, Figo is nice. It's got the assimilate tag. Create and play a one power copy of a bronze unit from your starting deck. Um, we could use this to create a number of our cards that we have, whether it be the Blight Makers, um, if we want to have some more assimilate units down on the board, a Slave Hunter. Really depends what it's going to spawn for us. This card probably save it for later. Um, Glynis is nice, it's got assimilate 2, so it's going to be boosting by 2 instead of 1 uh, whenever we play a card that's not from our deck. She's a card for the end, guys, keep that in mind. Um, another bit of tall punish, we've got Peter here. Once again, uh, better than Spores because you get 3 points on the board and you also get to reset something. And yeah, we've got the Blight Makers, they're just really nice to have in the deck. A lot of thinning, they can help us get out of um, some bleed situations. You can even use them to bleed a bit into the second round, which is what I find. So if you play Location into the first, you know, and you want to take advantage of its order ability, its resilience, kind of bleed on into the second round if you've got two of your Blight Makers still. And maybe you can, you know, use Cantarella, you can even set that up next. So, yep, Slave Hunters got the Assimilate tag. Um, their order abilities damage an enemy unit by two. And we've got two locks in this deck. Uh, the Mage Assassins, obviously, they're to work with Blight Maker, right? So when you play the Blight Maker, you're going to move a card in your deck to the top of it. If it was a Mage, spawn the Guardian in this row. So the target for Blight Maker, guys, for you that, that don't know about this card, how it works, basically, we want to make sure that both of our Mage Assassins are always in our deck, never in our hand. Because the Blight Maker, we're going to be selecting Mage Assassins, bringing them out onto the board. They'll damage um, our opponent's enemy units by two. It's all good. So um, that's the deck all in all. I've titled it Copycat because that's pretty much what we're doing. You know, we're using our opponent's cards against them. I've been kind of sticking with NG lately. It's, it's kind of growing on me, to be honest. I really like the style of play. I think it requires a lot of um, like skill and knowledge. That's why I like it. It tests you. So as I said, this deck is one that I believe will test you. It's not to say um, that you shouldn't play it. Give it a go. Let me know how you go with it. It will win you matches. It just requires uh, more knowledge than other decks to play because more thinking is involved. But yep, I really hope you guys are going to enjoy this one. Thank you so much for your support. I just hit my first 100 followers on Twitch. And can't thank you guys enough, honestly, just for everything. And... Um, if there's some way I can help you, just let me know. I'm very happy to reach out to you guys, connect with you all. And um, yeah, I hope you're going to enjoy the following matches. And please feel free to share your feedback in the comments section. And catch you soon. So that's NG Imprisonment, probably Imprisonment Ball. Be very nice to get the scenario with Warren here. If we can pull that off, it would be excellent. Yeah, we'll come back to that. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to play Warren first. We have access with Cantarella through a Nero. Uh, we also have location. It's a little tricky, but I can see. Beautiful. Let's go, Cantarilla, guys. Come on. Let us do it. Let us take that. Come on. Trying to work around me taking his masquerade ball. So 
how do we do that best? We go Cantarilla. Plays War. And then we Coop Cantarilla again. I should be your eyes, my lord. Actions define us, not appearances. Okay. Coop onto Cantarilla. Play the scenario. Get Masquerade Ball out of your life forms. Let us take it. So we could activate Masquerade Ball, copying their units. Uh, we need Aristocrats, right? I think we get Ball here, guys, by the looks of it. Out of the way, Ravel! Ah, uh, there you go. Well, my, my, the Van Morlands, they truly spoil us. I think it's going to be Slave Hunter. Catch him! He's worth 20 florins! It. I don't know what this is, but we captured this time. Just look on my shade. Well, we did get Masquerade Ball out, which is huge. We got Yennefer Invo out as well. <laughs> the senses can be fooled easily. Stars content, you shall be victorious today. Eyes closed, mouth. Wasted a lot of poisons here, guys. Keeping that could be pretty good here. Oh dear, have I something in my teeth? Can play spies, Brathens. Can play some good cards here. We simply must play 
my state a visit one day. Feeling a bit peckish. Simulate value. Could even play location here. I mean, that's gonna score big. I think. Should be some pretty good cards left in, his, in their deck still. Like, okay, yep. Plus it boosts all our assimilates. Yeah, let's play location guys into mental. Very nice. True love could lift the curse, but who would love such a freak? Plays mental back. Oh, that's pretty big. Right, yeah. They get us back here. Strike first and strike hard. No good wine will come from here, not even compost. Coop plays mentor again. So they got this round. My duty? Stick my nose. I don't think we want to play anymore. Monsters! No, a golden suffice for now. We want to play this last one. Nothing to lose anyway, I guess. Your humble Let's do that. See if they want to play their last card. Don't know what their last card is. Wow, usurper as well. So they've spent very hard in this round here. Were I you, I would watch my words. Right. So we've got a fair few good cards out of them. Not sure what they got left even really. Make is good to pull here. So I want to take the card advantage. I think we're just going to put this back in their deck. Move Vigo to the top, even you know. Um, sorry, uh, already used it. Sorry, guys, it's late over here. Um, you'll move this up top.
Yeah, we just use that to set a card up top um, on our deck that we want. Hopefully it gives us some access into our deck that we need. Just not really sure how tall they're going to go here. Keeps happening to me. Used to be, I hunted game. Men bring more coin. I feel like there's no use playing her here because of their leader ability. Unless we use our leader. It's a pretty hard decision here. Great victories require great sacrifice. The noise in your head. Really weak mentor. Bad scenario for us. So why would he poison that? Obviously there's got to be a reason for that, hey? Seeing that yet. Maybe, maybe we wait on that. There's nothing worse than a tepid bath. We wait on it because, you know, these guys' abilities, we need something in order to hit that. It's that side of adrenaline if he plays mentor here. Everyone has their secrets. It's not necessarily gonna get him Everyone. something good. Your blade is just an extension of your war. So I've got a spy on top. See if I play Leo now, we can kill that, so that's why it's good to wait like that. 
barbarians. Over. There you go, guys. See that? I don't work. Hey. Free. All of a sudden, we're looking better. Not bad, not bad, hey? Interesting turn of events here, guys. Yep. Now, even if we get Peter, it's good on Tementor. Yeah, let's get Peter, come on. Strike back. Leave it no chance for the axe. Let's get Peter, man. Let's do it. Yes. Yes. I strive above all to be just. Take it. Take it. Take it. Come on. Take that, man. Come on now. That was something good. Let's go. Let's go. Hell yeah. That was a good swing. That was a good swing, man. Let us see. Take him to the woods and release the hounds. Gets his nine here again. Her grace will not be pleased. Strike first and strike hard. interesting match that was very very interesting match I mean it just goes to show you what how he plays out you know Fulham puts some great pressure on our opponents gets them to misplay the sequencing of their cards I mean this person committed everything pretty much in the first yeah and we were a card down and we still did that well So it's a mirror match here. We'll have a look. Be interesting to see, guys. The hand is quite good. Probably just need one set of black makers here. Open up with Warrit. Go into Cantarilla. Actions define us, not appearances. It's quite nice if we can get that. Let's see if they've got access into their deck. Maybe they've got matter. He's hoping to get it. What is it you want? Well, fair enough. Okay. Music marries cultures, connects folk to one another. Dedicania! Source of the best goods. See how they wish to play, guys. 
they want to mill us, we can do that back to them too. Brathens, right? We can coop their Brathens. Okay. Yes. That will do. Right, right. I believe cooping the Brathens is good here. My loyalty is to Imperial coin, not to face the pain. I hate nothing more than a creaky door. We look to kill that. We can lock it too. So they gave us a good target. Pass here. They're having trouble. They're having a lot of trouble figuring out what to do. Yeah, they're milling. Wow. These guys far out. The shame I have no time. Scored good there by milling that card. It's the Blaze Own Slave Hunter. We'll just lock that. My duty? That's Please fine. My nose where it doesn't belong. Catch him! He's worth twenty florins. It's fine by us, guys. Peters, forward. Let the hunt begin. Let's just keep that control. Got coop in his hand. Oh, he's playing her. Don't really have anything to answer that with. It's not too late to walk away. I think I go Yennefer to that. Yeah. Didn't really want to, but. So Sunset Wanderers is next if they play, I think. Push on! 
No mercy. Playing it again, yeah. Let us see. So much anger and suffering. For what? I think we play... Should it be Braithens here? Maybe that's too much of a commitment. Might get Blightmaker. Defeat them with hunger. Crush them with thirst. They took something from us. Not sure what that was. Everyone has their secrets. Everyone. I think we're passing here. 15 points. I have to use leader here, probably. to catch up to. I think we're gonna see leader get used here. Dog forts. Yep. You mistake stars reflected. That's not enough either. That's not gonna hit good with mentor if he's going for that. think he's under again. Oh, he just made it. He's lucky he went for that. I'll tell you what, he's very lucky he got that.
Does he want to commit to his location? What's he going to do with it? Too. Used to be I hunted game. Men bring more coin. Weird. Well, chuck in this. Please wait your exit. Falling behind. So I think we're in a better position because we've got leader ability out of them and we're going into a long round. Doesn't favor them. They like to mill, they like to go into the second round, lead you bad, you know. Just really got to make sure we got the cards we need. Just don't know, does Peter play good here? Probably not. Maybe I'm not going to take Peter here, I'll just keep Leo. Just in case. It's not good, it's not good guys. Very unfortunate. There is no shame in fear! So we want to hit Vigo with a Nero. Got Spies. We can use um, Cantarella to get his Braithens as well. We can have two Braithens. I think we've got a number of options. This is just uh, unlucky for us. Get this. That was a Kasaja. No Deploy. We got some deploys. One. Okay, okay. I think we can copy that. Into an Her grace will not be nice. It's a good coop target as well. Is he going to start milling now? His hands has been back to front. Time to get our hands oh. oh, we're going to capitalize on that. So, we want to get Vigo out of there now then. And he can do whatever he wants in there. Not really concerned. What is truth if not an illusion? Come from here, not even compost. No stage. Nice. Nice. 
Is he gonna quit or what? So we got some solid boosting going on, guys. It's looking bad for them. Let's just stay focused here, eh? Milling doesn't do much against us here. I'm just letting that grow because I'm keeping Leo in mind. I don't want it, you know, to not play for nothing in this match. Could go ahead and, and search. Um, could search for... Oh, we could even use it for tool removal location with Kanta. And the water actually not too good. We'll just copy another one. Probably got T Boy in his hand, that's why he's going for this. Still got something good in there? I'm surprised. Looks like he's pretty much got everything out of the, his deck. Sure, what they're looking for. That's the best they can do with the Nero. I think it's looking good for us. My duty? To stick my nose where it doesn't belong. That's it, guys. We got that. We got that. We held out good, we managed to make it through. Skellige Petrol Subtle Fury, guys. Let's see what we're going to run up against here. Glynis is a card for later, as I explained in the deck guide. I think it's a good idea to keep at one of each. Maybe we kick that. We don't want to see that in hand at this time. Obviously, it's a combination for Blight Makers. Okay, right. So, unfortunately, we don't have Wart here. We may start in a bit of a different fashion. I just get the Blight Makers out first. With hunger. Crush them with thirst. Um, usually, we want to go Wart and kind of play from there. We, we can still do that because we've got location, but we'll just wait on it a bit. Just want to see how they're going to play here. Maxi. And now we should buy to you. Could go for it here. Let's see what it gets us, guys. Actions define us, not a Gets us a Neuromancy, very nice. Let us play location. And take that. We'll go we'll have double a Nero, guys, then. It's lovely news for us here. It's exactly what we want to hear. But the question is can we pull it off? Must see how our opponent plays around this. Playing druids, very interesting. Accept this offering that we might make the course safely. Yeah, it's a bit of a slow play, hey, that one. Um, it's an order. I think that's why that card hasn't gotten much uh, play time. Anyway, let's go like this. 
Things can get explosive around here. Ooh, that is unfortunate. Okay, we're giving him Cantarilla. But, I mean, if we get two Neuros, guys, that's no joke. <laughs> that is some serious stuff. Double a Nero. Wow. Then you wonder why I make so many Warrant decks all the time. I think each season I make at least one Warrant deck. Portal. Just gonna find our Fish Flapper Witches coming out here. Yep. So the problem is guys, we don't have our assimilate units really. Like we're missing Braithens here. Nice to play. Is this a good pass point? There we go, one more. I think we'll leave it like that. Could be doing mega scope play here. I think this is our pass point, guys. Um, he's gonna have another unit come out. The great swords play ridiculous with mega scope, you know. Um, Yeah, I think that's it. Just passing here. We're leaving this, it's got resilience. We'll have a look. But unfortunately we gave him Cantarella, man. You know, it's... What can you do, you know? I had, I had Coop on top, I had Joachim and Cantarella. It's uh, not the best of swaps for us. Maybe we're just putting junk back in his deck. But look at that, we got double a Nero, guys. It's fantastic to see. It's exactly what we want. Purify in this sense doesn't really do much for us. Beautiful, beautiful. So we got we can use this to draw something to pass with, so. Maybe trust that. Not sure how they want to play here. Lock that. I wonder what nice media could have captured this time. Passes, okay.
Um, maybe we just play a purify unit. That really won't do much for us. Um, I'm not sure what we should put back. It's pretty slow. I put that back. Because the, the witches, I mean, they're seven point units, really. They're healing, even if he slams them down. And we don't really have. I mean, we've got one lock left. We get so much access into our deck, though, it's crazy right now. So we got Braithens guaranteed, Vigo guaranteed. So we can just use Joachim to hit um, Leo, which should play decent in this matchup because we can play him on a ranged row. Spies. Yeah, good. I think it's a good hand. So we begin with laying out the field with the assimilate units, right? We want to get those units down before we start no doing our fun fear. stuff. That's fair. I think we got Vigo here. You are not regretting. So you're gonna get us slave hunter. Okay. Catch him! He's worth twenty florins. Next we want Braithens. Then we can consider leader ability as we go on. One of three randomly selected cards from the hand. There's a lock. We have Purify. No, I used it. Okay, wasn't expecting that. That's good. So we can't copy that because it's a gold, guys. It's a gold card. We can still play Braithens here to boost uh, Vigo up. Keep them alive um, as we play our spies. Alright, kill his Braithens. So they're playing quite slow here. This could be bad for us um, if it gets Leo. But it looks like the play. Okay. Used to be it's a bit risky. Men bring more coin. It's gonna be Leo a slave hunter next. We probably want to negate the bloodthirst according to how Skelliger works, right? So we can use this. We can actually use the purify there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got an idea, guys.
we're gonna purify slave hunter guys it's gonna activate assimilate tags and we're gonna get our order ability back we're gonna make him commit to a one powered unit if he doesn't want that anyway so it's probably good to bait out some removals just not sure about Peter here if he's gonna do some boosting okay that's fine the Vomorahams detest intruders I think we're going leader now Should I wait one more card maybe? Maybe one more maybe one more card. Just wanna see. Okay. I'll wash away those insults with your entrails. I will have flopped off three heads with one blow. <laughs> My duty is to stick my nose where it doesn't belong. Wow, Idoran and Heat Wave. Very unusual. Maybe Iteran? Okay. Could be interesting. Shouldn't have played it there. Maybe should have went melee. We don't want to clog the road too bad. Stars are all the trophies I need. All right, guys. Let's do this. This is what I have in mind. Well, this will boost when I damage it, won't it? I'm thinking of cooping that if I can get it down somehow. Heal self by one. Self by one. Not sure. I'm a second thoughts about that actually. Everyone has their secrets. Everyone. I was thinking to perhaps coop that but then I realized it's gonna be boosting when I'm doing self damage that's the problem even with me using that ship so he's got heat wave which is gonna go big on our units but we do have Peter for the great sword we can res reset the great swords uh, power that way so it still works even though he doesn't have boosting going on yes nothing quite like a nice messy dissection wanna know why I got my star so one's heat wave remember what the other was I 
hates nothing more than a creaky door. May our new Gorgons Arcadia as marvels too one day. We lose a lot of points here on this on this heat wave now. Going hell tall with those units. Damn it, guys. Heat wave killed us there. Oh, it's not the best either. <laughs> Pray to your God. They would dare cross me. Wow. It was looking good until the end. Lost that one. 